Hello and welcome back to the Fable Sphinx. My name is Sphinx and we are continuing our playthrough for Sally Face. Oh, that was the walkie talkie. <laughs> now what? We were finding upgrades for our ear. Yes, find gear boy upgrades. And I think we have the antenna and the other thing we needed was some. Uh, a battery pack, I think it was? Yeah, the antenna was on top here. That's why we were in Larry's room. Now we just need to find the battery pack. I had gone through the whole building, but I guess I'm gonna go through again to see. Is there something with the stereo? Oh, it was a new Sanity Fall song. Yeah, no. We heard it last time. We can go outside now, so that's fun. There's the treehouse. Let's check the treehouse might skip ahead a bit to when I find it, because I'm pretty sure I have to go through the whole apartment building again. We did get a lot of information in the last episode that Mr. Addison, his name is Terrence, <laughs> he is the last of his family, like he's the only person left. And he's terribly shy, which is why he's always in his room, he doesn't come out of his apartment. Okay, nothing else in there. Nothing in there. And that's Larry's family. His dad is missing, yeah. We found a lot from Larry too. His dad just randomly went missing. Like all his stuff was still there, but he's just gone. Will this work for power? Walkie talkie? Oh my god, I had it the whole time! Holy shit, I'm so stupid. Okay, <laughs> wow. Yes, the battery from your walkie talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. Oh my god. With the two components you retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the Gear Boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get it ready. Okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy. Okay. Um, cool. <laughs> Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode when the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is alright. Larry's not gonna be so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful now. For the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, press that R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. <laughs> that doesn't sound weird at all. Sounds good. Okay, Sally. I see where I see where you're going with this. All right. Whenever you're ready, hold up the Super Gear Boy by pressing Shift. Okay. Oh, now we press R. Whoa. Hmm. Maybe I. He came out of the toilet. It worked, and he's crying. Holy crap. You have the same reaction I did, Todd. Hello. What's the matter? I never thought he'd kill them. I... It's all my fault. Ghost of Greg. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh god, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. Oh Jesus. It's never a crime to fall for your heart. You must be a romantic, like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no. What? What is it? He's here. Who's... Who? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. Oh. 
Oh, oh, he was there in the mirror. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I have never seen anything like that. Well, Todd, I'm kind of an expert on the subject, in case you uh, haven't noticed. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories, and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean, it's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the, around the game cartridge. Claim cartridge. You may want to check it out and make sure it's okay. How do you want me to do that exactly? Super Gear Boy. Todd modified my Gear Boy. Okay. Chef deactivated by R. Okay. Alright. Alrighty. Let's go. Ooh, we just carried around with us. That's so cool. Okay, let's head up to. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. I can't go anywhere else. Like, I can't go into a different room while I have the Gear Boy. I have to test it right there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's head to the fifth floor and see if we can talk to Megan now. Oh wait, Megan's this side. I knew I would spend way too long trying to figure this damn battery pack thing out. Alright, let's press R. Oh, I guess she's not here. Okay. How about here? I think it's supposed to like glow when there's like a hot spot or something? Okay, so no one's here right now. So what's our objective? Search for supernatural hotspots. Okay, I'm pretty sure this whole fifth floor should be a supernatural hotspot. Or I could be wrong. It looks like I'm wrong. Oh! Oh! Holy Jesus! Satan, is that you? That didn't look good. You damn right didn't. Alrighty. Uh, that's gone now. Let's go to my floor and see if we pick up any hotspots. I don't think I'll go into the rooms, I think I'll just check the hallways and see. Ooh, is there anything in- well, I can't, um, check in my apartment just yet. Ooh, we should check Charlie's apartment. Oh, that's not Charlie, sorry. Let's check our apartment and see. Hey Gizmo, I'm still looking for ghosts. Don't mind me. I don't know if this is how this works. I'm just like... Okay. Any supernatural thingies happen in here? Sal, you're such a cool kid, I swear. How about dad? Dad, you got any ghosties? I know you're busy. Don't worry. I'm just checking for ghosts. Alright, you're clear, dad. Keep doing you. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's head to the third floor and see. And then in the basement, we'll talk to Larry. I don't think we're supposed to check the rooms. I'm not sure. Because we can't actually go into the other apartments. I think we can go into this one, actually. Okay, wasn't that one. I think Charlie lived in- oh, that's Chuck. Yeah, Charlie lived downstairs, on the second floor, if I'm correct. That might be a supernatural hotspot. Surprise, this whole- 
place here isn't a supernatural hotspot considering all the weird crap going on behind the door. Okay, nothing here. Is this Charlie's apartment? Yeah, this is Charlie's old place. Let's see. Deep- oh! We got something. We got something, folks. Holy! What the hell was that? Um, what? Exactly. That's exactly what I said. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, come back? Huh. Okay. Well, that was weird, for sure. Wait, did we check, um... The, the birdcage room on the fifth floor? Or we only checked Meg. We should check the birdcage one. Okay, we're on the second floor. We're gonna head back up to the fifth floor right quick and see if there's any supernatural whatchamacallits happening in birdcage room. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, of course there is. Alright, what have we got here? Whoa! <laughs> Sally has no words for this one. So we're just like, are we marking down hotspots or something? This is cool though. The symbolism is really cool. Okay, now we're gonna head to the first floor. See if we find anything. Let's see, we got any ghosties? Alright, nothing here on the first floor, it seems. Yep, nothing here. I like how my gear boys just like got tape and stuff all over the giant antenna sticking out. Great modifications, Todd. Ooh. Larry's place. I think that's where the red man, red-eyed guy kind of lives, you know what I'm saying? I think he lives in Larry's place. But he was definitely in the bathroom when we were talking to the guy on the toilet. Oh, his name's Greg, sorry. I should probably refer to him as Greg instead of guy on the toilet. Alright. His kitchen is where we saw him. Um, I mean, yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, what's that? Alright. What the? <laughs> oh. I got an achievement. Devour. Achievement unlock devour. I guess for collecting all them symbols. Is your hot- your bathroom a hot spot, Larry? No, it's not. I think only Tad- Todd- Todd's bathroom and the bathroom in 502 are meant to be hot spots. Alright. Larry, check this out, bro. Bro. I'm a professional ghost hunter now. Check out the Super Gear Boy. Todd made that? That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn, well that's okay. Hopefully it will help find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. That's it! Hasta la vista, Sally. Oh yeah, you have to take care of your mom. Okay. Let's go visit Lisa. Hey Lisa, don't mind me. Okay, you're clear, Lisa. You good? Yep. Alright, good to hear. Alright, do a double check. A little sweep. Alright, time to go. Alright. Search for supernatural hotspots. Ooh, okay, so am I supposed to find all of the seals? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Alright, let's do a little thorough search. Let's talk to Chug. Nothing new with Chug. Okay. I might have missed a hotspot or two somewhere. Let's see. Addison. Okay. Nothing new there. Oh, 
How many seals did we find? Like six? Seven? So we definitely have a couple hot spots um, in the fifth floor, for sure. We have a hot spot in Larry's basement, his kitchen. I don't think we could go into any of the other apartments. Um, we had a hot spot in Todd's bathroom, I think. Oh wait, maybe it's a hot spot in Todd's bathroom. Oh, I just went back to the first one. Luckily, we're going to two now, so we can check his bathroom again. Whoopsies. I meant to go to the bathroom. Okay. Oh, maybe it, there isn't a hot spot in here. Maybe it's somewhere else in the apartment? Hello, ghosties? Where are you? No, maybe Todd's room? I'll look at him typing away. Okay. Nothing here. Hey, buddy. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie, but look at this photo of him on the public record. That's not Charlie. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mrs. Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police records. How did you get those, Todd? It's as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep looking into things. Check back in in a little while. Okay, I'm going to keep searching for more supernatural stuff in the meantime. Perfect. Alright, did our objective change? Nope. Still looking for hotspots. Does anyone hear that? It sounds like coughing. It sounds like she's coughing in there. Huh. Weird. That was really loud. It was louder than before. I actually noticed it this time. Alright. Let's see. Maybe we can ask people to let us into their apartment so we can check for ghosts. Okay. And we checked Charlie's old place already. Oh, I know where we didn't go. We didn't go to the freaking, um, to the backyard, to the treehouse. Oh man, I hope we don't get, I don't, I hope we don't see Larry's dad. I really hope he's not dead. I would feel so bad. That's where we need to go. We need to go out back. Maybe we'll get some supernatural activity out here in the snow. It looks like a no. Alright. Moment of truth. Is Larry's dad dead? Oh, crap. What the hell is- Sal? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? Who's Jim Johnson? No, no, the, the Sal? The what? My live. Oh. What the hell is that? It's a phantom? You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I. I think that's a sorry. Say. I don't have much time. I'm, I'm guessing right now. Just remember. All. The, remember the red ball? Something. What do you mean? What are you? To go now, bridge, red ball, to die, dangerous, dangerous, huh. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. <laughs> Whatever that was. I didn't know you could get used to that kind of thing, Sal. Your life is weird, I agree. Alright, are we gonna get any other activity? Nope. 
All right, let's go talk to Larry about that little experience there. That was strange. Who was Jim Johnson? I feel like I should know that. It looked like the head of um, Larry's dad, so I think he might be dead, folks. Whatever that red-eyed demon thing was, I think it killed him. All right, brother, we need to talk. Wait, what? Whoops. What? Really? We're not gonna tell him what we just saw? Search for supernatural hotspots. Okay, my goal is still the same. Uh, are we not gonna tell him? Okay, I guess we're not gonna tell him. Hold on, do we check his room? Oh, what's this? We checked his room, right? Yep, you're all clear, Larry. Your treehouse, on the other hand, might be, uh, might be infested with a phantom. Just saying. Just letting you know, buddy. Okay, something about a red ball. Red ball and a bridge? Hmm, that sounds like a puzzle. And something about someone dying. there. We can't go in. Oh yeah, Rosenberg's place. We didn't check Rose- Oh no, this is Todd's. Oh no, we could go into Rosenberg's place. She's on the first floor. We didn't check her place. Might give the poor lady a heart attack. Alright, let's see. Hey, try not to have a heart attack, okay? I'm just looking for ghosts. Oh, Jesus. Alright, don't have a heart attack now. Oh. My. God. Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? It's, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again and see if he's found anything. Are you dead? Alright, Mrs. Rosenberg is dead. Confirmed. She's just a spirit that lives among us for some reason. Jesus, that... <laughs> that gave me goosebumps. Oh, where's Todd? He's on the second floor. Alright, Todd, tell me what you got, buddy. Oh, we're not even in this room yet. Todd, you're not gonna believe this, dude. I found something interesting. It's a missing persons case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Ooh, isn't Stacy someone that Greg mentioned too? Or I could be wrong. But Megan, we know. She's in the bathroom on the fifth floor. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom- Oh, I was right. Was telling us about. So, okay, so Stacy is married to... What was the guy's name? Anywho, and her daughter was Megan, and Greg, I guess, was the person who was... She was cheating on. She was cheating with. Yeah, anywho. The story lines up, right? Well, here's what it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed. Stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake, that's a few miles south of here, along with her parents says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. Yep, that's her. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Okay, we gotta find- we gotta go find Megan's necklace. And then maybe we can summon Megan. Alright, where did we see her necklace? First place first, let's check the lost and found. It's always a good place to go when you're looking for something that's lost. 
Chug's still waiting for that vending machine. Jeez. I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. Ah, I was correct. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Oh. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Here we go. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions for you. Hi, Sally Face. There she is. Hey, Megan, sweetie. How you doing? Holy fuck knuckles. <laughs> Larry, watch your language. There is a child present. That's not a nice word, Larry. Yeah, you tell him, Megan. <laughs> You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Okay, let's see. Mm hmm. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Okay. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice, like mommy. Oh, is he the red-eyed dude? Is your dad the red-eyed guy? What happened? I remember they had a fight, and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Yeah, that's, that's usually how it works. In affairs. Okay. Do you remember your last days? I don't know, it's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, i never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Oh. Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. <sighs> Jim Johnson is- oh, okay. Okay, that's Larry's dad. So Larry's dad was the Phantom. Possibly. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends, hee <laughs> hee. Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, sorry. Larry! Okay, let's- let's- do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's fishing- mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Oh, that's not good. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought me candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. Well, it's because, uh, your mom was nailing him, honey. Alright, is this your necklace? Hey, yes, where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Okay. Shit. <laughs> yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna need to get to the, the, that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. Okay. This is some awesome progress. Holy crud. Alright, so I'm assuming that Larry's... Not Larry's dad. Um, Megan's dad had like a psychotic- this is my theory. He had like some sort of psychotic break. Where was David again? Oh, I can't see while I'm in the elevator. Um, I think he was the third floor. I think Megan's dad had some sort of psychotic- Luke was his name. Some sort of psychotic break, yeah, and killed everybody. Sup, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's only- it's the only- the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door in 301? They're nice kids. And alls, but they've deserve- but they, they have these real loud parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If Yins could talk to them for me, get them a little quieter, then I could let Yins borrow the crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I'm, I'm out of 
out of clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party pooper, you know? You know? <laughs> it's not a problem, I'll be right back. See us. Oh, we get to meet the college kids now. And hopefully David will put some pants on eventually. Oh. Uh, Sierra. Hey, Sierra, what are you up to? Oh, hey, Sally Face. I'm contemplating an alternative activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. D&D, &D, movie night, video games, chess tournament, karaoke, debate. Ooh, I'm stuck between video games and karaoke. Karaoke is fantastic for everybody, I feel like. How about this? That's what I was leaning towards, too. It would be fun to break out of our normal comfort zone. That's it? That's all you got for me? CJ. Yo, what up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose some music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Alright, let's go. Oh, I want to choose this one. That's interesting. This is cool. Okay. This one. How about this? Oh yeah, I dig this one. This is my original pick too. Alright, just keep it down, okay? I need to get that damn crowbar. Ooh, do you have a paranormal activity I should know about? No? Alright, I see myself out. Oh, hello there. Azaria, that's a cool name. Hey Z, what's up? Oh, we call her Z for short. Hey Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Musical chairs, charades... Duck, duck, goose, dodgeball, telephone, ping pong. Let's see, what else you got? Musical chairs. Yeah, uh, hmm. Well, we're doing karaoke. Hmm, charades is cool. I'm, let's see, charades or ping pong. Let's do charades. How about this game? That was my first choice as well. Maybe I should just stick with my gut on this one. Uh, quickly check for some paranormal activity. Okay, you guys got nothing? Uh, let's see. Oh, we're not able to turn it down. Okay, so hopefully that helps. I mean, I didn't exactly tell them to turn anything down, but... Sup, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to, Elin. Uh, seriously? Oh, okay. I guess I have to change the music. Is this low enough? Dude, I think this will put everyone to sleep. It's lowered now. Can I have the damn crowbar? But it's quiet now. It's quiet. I turned the music down. Okay, let's see. Maybe this one? There's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think this could work. Okay. Do I have to talk to you again? Alright, what did I pick? I picked karaoke, so that's not good. Um, have a movie night instead. You're here very well with everything going on.
Okay, oh, okay, so I have to pick the correct thing for everybody. Let's see. Chess tournament. That's perfect choice for tonight. Oh, I see. I have to pick the correct one. Okay. Alright. I picked charades. Oh, so it's not one of those where I get to pick. Telephone. Ping pong. No, ping pong is loud. Dodgeball. Charades. Maybe musical chairs? I think that could work. We have enough chairs and CJ is working on the music now. Yeah, this would be fun. Oh no, okay. Duck Duck Moose? Wait, wait, that says Duck Duck Moose. What the hell? Telephone. Maybe ping pong? Ah, our ping pong tables have been laid to rest a few months back. Old Jimmy fell on it and crushed it to pieces. Okay. Let's see. Dodgeball's loud. Maybe Duck Duck Moose? How about this game? We played this one last time. We'll need a new game for this party. Oh my god. Okay. Charades. I think musical chairs? Okay. Let's see if this works. Hello, brother. Can I please get the god dang crowbar? Are you serious? Oh, okay, that means I didn't get the right one for Azaria. Alright, so... Okay, so she's done. This one's done. Alright, so I'm not supposed to be able to look at the book again once I get it. Uh, next. I think we had picked charades first. Okay, so it's not charades. It wasn't Duck Duck Moose. It was a dodgeball. Okay. Telephone. Okay, we got it. We did it. We lowered everyone's volume. I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. Alright. Gimme the crowbar. Give it to me. I worked it all out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Wow, that's a great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah will be happy too. Last time our wedding picture almost blew to pieces. Ha- what? <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you as one second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Sweet. Thanks, you too. And now we have a crowbar. We need a lot of stuffs. Let's head to the fifth floor. Five oh four, right? Larry should be here. Oh, he's not. Hmm, do we go to Larry first? Let's see here. Investigate five oh four bedroom. Okay. All right, guys. That's where I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you so much for watching. This has been so much fun. We got a lot of really cool stuff happening this episode. A bunch of Satan symbols and whatnot, and ghosties. We got to see Megan again, and on the next one, we're gonna hopefully meet her mom and see what's going on there. Larry's dad might be dead, which is a total shocker. Um, but also sucks greatly. But um, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below on your theories about the, about where this is going in Sally Face. And um, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Yep, that's all of it. <laughs> and let's do it again sometime.